Welcome to Toga Night. My name is Philip Fiallo. And I'm Bryce Belshin. And together we were the directors for the boys' play. Before we start, can I please remind you all to silence your cell phones and not to take flash photography. So like I said before, we were the directors for the boys' play. My job as director was to um, help the actors rehearse with them, make sure that they were learning their lines, and most importantly, we're prepared for you all tonight. And my job as co-director was to direct the construction of the set, the props, and the costumes. So the boys play is basically our rewritten take on an ancient Greek play called Trojan Women, written by Euripides. It takes place after the long 10-year battle between the Greeks and the Trojans, where the Greeks eventually won, taking Troy, killing all the men, and now taking the women and children as slaves. This is the story of the women and how their lives are falling down. And also, like back then, there will only be boys on this stage, and yes, most of them will be women. Thank you, and please enjoy. I am Poseidon, god of the sea. Since the day I built this city of Troy, I have never been so sad for the Trojans. <coughs> Troy is now abandoned. The Trojan treasure now belongs to the Greeks. Now, the men of Greece will return home, and so will I, submitting to Hera and Athena. <coughs> As for this loser here, this is Hecuba. She has lost everything. Once the queen of Troy, she is now a prisoner. Her husband and one of her daughters is dead, and the other is insane. Poseidon, we need to talk. About what, Athena? I have a deal I want to make with you. And what is it? I want to punish the Greeks for burning Troy to the ground. So now you're trading sides? Go back to my first point. Will you agree to my deal? Yes, but I want to know why you want to do this. Do you not know what the Greeks did to my temples? Didn't Ajax drag Cassandra into your temple and rape her? And the Greeks didn't even punish him. So now you want to hurt them. Even though it's because of you they took Troy. Yes, I want to teach them a lesson that they will never forget. <coughs> When they are sailing back, is this why you need me? Yes. When they set sail to Greece, I want huge waves to fling the Greek soldiers off their ships. Will I throw down Zeus's lightning bolts and set their ships on fire? It shall be done. But this favor needs no lengthy description. I shall make havoc across the Aegean Sea on the shores of Greece. Now go. Take from your father's hands the lightning bolts and await the Greeks' voyage. The men who rob cities and violate temples are insane. They have no right to return to their families. The Greeks will get their punishment soon enough and hopefully learn a lesson. As for the Trojan women... <laughs> Troy has been captured and will be destroyed. <clears throat> I am angry. My family's life has ended. I'm in so much pain. All I want to do is stand up. The Greeks, rowing their boats across the purply deep, landed on Troy's shore to capture Helen back, who belongs to the cruel Menelaus. I'm Hecuba, an old woman sitting in the tents of the Greeks. I used to be great and powerful, but now that is gone. Our husbands, husbands are, are dead! dead. Our, Our children, children are dead! dead. Tell, tell us what to do, Hecuba! Tell us, tell us, tell us! The Greeks are getting ready to leave, which means they'll be taking us soon. We, we knew that the time would come. come. They were going, going to turn, turn us into their slaves! I I'm afraid. I feel like they'll torture us. We feel the same way, my queen. They're going to take our lives. Oh no! The Greeks are coming to take us to Greece and bring us to their homes. Who is going to be the man you did from Sparta or Argos to take me away? I'm wondering the same thing. Who will choose me? Where will I go? What will my job be? I'll be crazy beyond belief. I have to share the same bed with a Greek. I'll be treated like a slave. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to go to Athens. At least they have family wealth. I and the Greek herald Talthidius. I have news for you, woman. What is it? You have all been assigned a different Greek king. Well, which Greeks have chosen which of us? I will tell you one at a time. Now I'll tell you <laughs> one of your names, and I will answer. Who has chosen my daughter? Cassandra. She was chosen by King Agamemnon. Is she going to be a slave to that Spartan whore, Helen? Please don't tell me she will. I think She'll just be used to comfort her in, her in his bed at night. But she chose to serve Apollo as a virgin for her whole life. Well, he wants her. And I don't think anything will change that. And isn't it a great thing to be in a king's bed? What about the youngest of my girls, Polyxena? 
Who chose her? She was chosen to serve at the tomb for Achilles. Uh, I want her to be queen when she grew up. And now she is, uh, I, I don't know. She's lucky. She's the happy one now. What do you mean by that? Because of what she got, her troubles will soon come to an end. Where will Andromache go? Who chose her? She was chosen by Achilles' son for himself. Who has chosen me then? You. You have been chosen by Odysseus, <coughs> the king of Ithaca. I've been chosen by him? That cruel, cheating, stealing, lying bastard! What about, about us? What about us? us? I'll tell you later. Now go, soldier. Go fetch, fetch Cassandra out of the tent. Come get me, soldier, come get me! <laughs> Look at the bright torch! I will shine it to show my love during my marriage to Agamemnon! I will love Agamemnon, even though he has destroyed my homeland! You are all invited to my wedding! Come dance with me for the great celebration! Hey, Hecuba! Hold Cassandra before she goes skipping off into the middle of the Greek army! Cassandra, Cassandra, stop running around with this torch in your hand. I don't think you're really this happy. Ha! I'm so happy, I'm so joyful, I can't wait! I'm going to be the best wife ever to Agamemnon! And when we get to Argos, I will cut his throat! I have a plan! Cassandra, Cassandra! That was some dark ring that you'd be punished for if Agamemnon heard that. I won't tell, tell anyone because I know you're crazy in the head right now. <laughs> Come to your ship, Cassandra. It's your time to leave. Take her, soldier. Take her away. You said that my mother Hecuba here was going with Odysseus, correct? Oh, he has no idea what is in the store for him. No, Cassandra. <laughs> Let's help her up. Let's help her up. Just leave me on the floor. I I'm in misery. My daughter's just been taken away, and my other daughter, well, I just don't know where she is. And now I'm waiting to come and save to Odysseus. What did I ever do to deserve this? Look! Here, Here comes a drum and a Steinax! The Greeks who are taking me, they're taking us all. This makes me so sad. <laughs> Why does God punish us? I don't know. Wait, what happened to you? My children are gone. All of our children are gone. And my city. And our beautiful city. And my sons. I am so sorry for you. How long will this pain last? Hector, come save us from the Greeks! Hector is dead! Oh, young blind girl, you're crying out to my son Hector who is dead. He's with Hades now. Please come make your wife safe, Hector. You sad girl, these feelings are what we all feel. But our city is gone and my husband is dead! You're not the only person who is this depressed. I hate Helen. You guys are bird choice now suffers. My homeland, my city. Hey, I will cry for you. We're the only Trojans left, but we're going into slavery. No one will remember us. And I will cry for Troy. Don't, Don't let this take you down, down Hecuba. Hecuba! Don't let it! Hecuba, we do not serve what's happening in Troy. I understand, I feel the pain. I'm going with my child to be a slave. The table's turned for me. My daughter, Cassandra, is ripped from my hands into the other side. You don't know what happened to your other daughter, Pogsina? You know what happened. I don't know how to say this, but she's been killed at the tomb of Achilles as an offering to his dead corpse. I should have seen this coming. I should have understood Tostivius' words about my daughter. I saw her sacrifice afterwards and I covered her body in respect for her. My daughter, my sweet daughter, Polyxena, you do not deserve this unnecessary sacrifice. I tried to stop it, but there was no way. <laughs> my daughter could have had hope. Now that she's dead, she has nothingness. Your daughter being dead has been her living life of slavery and misery. But someone starts life happy and wealthy, your life goes tumbling down. When they lose it all, most people deserve to die. I hope to be one of those people. I hope that I die and never, ever, have to serve a Greek king. Well, Andromache, I know your pain, but you shouldn't wish to die. You shouldn't live with the fact that your husband, Hector, is dead. Respect your new husband. Give him what he wants. Give him happiness. So your son will grow up with an easy life. Because if you die, then he will die after you. <coughs> Andromache, <coughs> wife of Hector, what I'm about to tell you is being forced against my will. They have decided that the boy here. <sighs> okay, oh. what is it? Tell me. It's about your boy. If there's a painless way to tell you this news, 
I just don't know. Just spit it out, top idiot! They're going to kill your son. There's the truth in all its honor. No! No! This is worse than being a slave. Odysseus made a speech to the generals and won their agreement. This is terrible. Do not resist. Just give us a son, and it'll be easier for all of us. Do it so everyone will see your good sense. Realize that your <laughs> husband is gone, and you have no power. We are capable of battling a single woman. <coughs> and also, if you insult the Greeks, they will treat your son's body terribly. Oh Christ, my next. Let me hold you in my arms for one last time. This, this is all Helen's fault for running off with Paris! Here, child, let go of your loving mom's arms. Soon you'll meet your end. Miss Dynex, you've been taken from your mother. There's no justice anymore and it hurts me. We will remember you and keep you in our hearts. What a great day. I will get back my cheating wife. I didn't attack Troy for her. I did it to kill Paris. I will spare her life until we get back to Argos. There, I will let my soldiers kill her. I will leave it to the soldiers who had to fight 10 years to get her back. Go drag her out here. God, whoever you are, I'm asking for help. Please give the Trojans justice. You have a strange way of praying to God. You know what, Menelaus? I don't like you. But I agree with you. Go and kill your wife, Helen. But make sure not to look at her. Her beauty will make you fall for her again. She does that to every man. <laughs> Hello, Menelaus. <laughs> Your soldiers were too rough in taking me out. You need to tell them to treat a lady like me with more respect. Besides that, have you decided what you're going to do with me? Are you going to kill me? <laughs> Is that even a question? You're definitely going to be killed. Well, if I die, it will be unjust. I've come here to kill you, not have a debate. Let her speak, Menelaus, so she can die having the right to speak. And let me be the one that proves everything she says is wrong. Fine, but make it quick. I understand you don't want to listen to me. But right now, I'm going to make my argument clear, whether you like it or not, since you think of me as an enemy now. Firstly, this is the woman who gave birth to Paris, who started the whole ordeal. Why aren't we punishing her? <coughs> Secondly, crime also caused the destruction of both me and Troy. If you're not killing Paris, and Paris is just a baby, you don't know the full story in the beginning either. Paris was promised the most beautiful woman by Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty and love. So when you invited him over, it was Aphrodite who made me fall in love with Paris. And then you left, so he stole me to, and took me to Troy. When he died, I had to find a way back to you, my true love, because the curse were off. My witnesses are the guards who saw me on the walls of Troy using a rope to escape. So now, how to be fair to kill me when it felt that this woman and the gods? And when the curse were off, I tried to get back to you. But in life, Let me say that what Helen says is not the truth. When you saw my son, you lost your mind and fell for me. You saw his rich clothes and wanted that more than the cheap stuff you Spartans have. Once you left Sparta, you enjoyed every minute of your new city, Troy. You say my son took you, then how come no guard stopped him? And how come you didn't scream? You knew the Greeks would chase Paris. So once, you, once Paris died, you started trying to escape back to the Greek camp. That would really look like you were under a curse by the Greek gods, and Menelaus wouldn't kill you. Menelaus, look at your wife. She is dressed in fine clothing because she liked living in Troy. For you and for Greece's good name, you need to kill this woman. Menelaus! Punish her! Punish her! Punish her! Hecuba, I've decided that you are right. She left my house and slept with Paris. I want you dead. Take her to the place of stoning where I will give you what you deserve. No, we don't, don't listen to her. With you, woman. I won't fall for her tricks. Don't let her board the same ship as you. Why? Has she gained a little weight <laughs> while I've been gone? <laughs> I 
I don't want you to fall under her charm again. There is no way that will happen. And she won't be on my boat. And then finally, when we make it to Argos, she will meet her end. So this is how it goes, God. We will just be taken one by one to become slaves to the Greeks. Never seeing our families again. Look, Talthibius is bringing out the lifeless body of little Cyanax. Hecuba, the last of the ships are ready to sail away. The drama has already left and has told me to give her baby boy's corpse to you. Her master did not let her give him a proper burial. Her explanation brought me to tears. She wants you to take him and wrap him in clothes and garland. I will start digging a hole to burn him in so it will go faster. Put down Hector's shield. It will, it will make me cry. You Greeks are more happy killing people than learning. What made you kill a young boy? Was it fear? Was he one day going to attack you? You people are not heroes. When Hector went out to battle, our men died. But now that you destroyed Troy, you're afraid of a tiny little infant? Oh, Steinex, if you grew up rich, you would have had happiness. The walls of Troy were supposed to protect you, not to kill you. No one can mourn for you, only your grandmother. I wish your tomb said, this boy was murdered by Greek soldiers because they were afraid of him. This murder should be a disgrace to the Greeks. And now, you have your father's shield as a coffin. Here, Here are the garments for the corpse. My grandson, we are placing our best clothing on you for mourning to remind us of what Helen has taken from you. And we bury you in the best clothing that you should have worn on your wedding day and the shield of your father that you should have used to fight. I know you are dead, but you deserve the honor. When you are buried, young boy, we will cry for you. I will take care of you until we bury you, and your father will take care of you in spirit. Woman of Troy. What is it, Hecuba? The belongings you are bringing are useless. It's the memories that matter. Look at the queen of joy, go from greatness to nothing. She was more noble with a life of happiness, but now that is gone. Look over the hill. The Greeks are holding torches. Your general is having other soldiers burn down the city of Troy so he can leave and go home. So you stay with me. When the sound of the trumpet is heard, you will leave and go down to your boats. But as for you, Hecuba, you will be taken by Odysseus on his ship. No! My life is ruined! I'm being taken by a cruel man while my city is burning? What did I ever do to deserve this? Poor Hecuba, you're going crazy. Guard, take your master Odysseus! Son of Kronos! You are seeing being treated? This is not fair! Hecuba! There is no more Troy and that's it! Face the fact! Troy's on fire! All of the walls and buildings are burning! Let me say goodbye to my city one last time! Someone listen to my voice! You are talking to the dead, Hecuba! They cannot hear you! I know they cannot hear me! We call to our husband! My husband! I need to know that you will also die without a burial! Just like our city! Hecuba! Soon we will die in our city too! And its name will be forgotten! The citadel has fallen! Troy is gone! Goodbye, Troy. Go to your ships. and I'm Savannah Pluma. I was a co-director for the play, and like Bryce, I was in charge of the backdrop, managing construction crew, stage crew, and lighting crew. And as director, I was in charge of preparing the actors for tonight's performance and making decisions that best suited the play. Our play focuses on the stories of four Syrian women who flee the country in hope to reach safety. Even though our actors are completely fictional, the events that occur during the play are based on real life situations. Thank you and enjoy. Syria began in 2011 and shows no sign of it ending. More than 200,000 people 
have died in the conflict between President Bashar al-Assad's government and the rebel forces who want him gone. The people of Syria are fleeing from the country any way they can, and more than four million Syrian families have fled to neighboring countries and Europe. Start now. Now! Father, how long are we staying here? He said we would be working 14 hours a day. I'm only 15. I can't do that. Where is the school here? Huda, I understand how you feel. It breaks my heart, but there isn't any school <laughs> here. Our survival is most important, and that is what matters most right now. You're right, I guess. I hope we will go back to home and that I can go back to school and eventually go to college and I'll become a teacher. We will go back home and it'll be just like it was before the war. Of course you will. And I'm gonna work as hard as I can to get you there. But now all we can do is sleep knowing that we're very lucky to be alive. Each time the tractor plows, you will quickly grab all the potatoes. When your bag gets full, come to me and I will check. If you don't fill your bag on the way, you won't get paid. Fill that bag! Please stop, sir. He's only ten. You're hurting him. Don't worry about the child. He has to learn. If a kid slows down, I will hit them. The more potatoes you pick, the more money you make. The more money you make, the faster you can get out of here. Go now! 
There's no time. Grab all your things quickly. There's no time. I can't leave. There is no time. I can't leave. This is my home. I was born here. My father was sent to war. My mother was shot on her way back home from work. I have to stay here. Forget about your pride. Your survival is the most important thing now. You know what? I have something that might help you. It's a poem my sister wrote before she fled the country. It's not something you ever thought of doing until the blade burnt into your neck. And even then, you carry the anthem under your breath. We have to go now. <coughs> After I got out of the house, I used all the money I had saved up to find a smuggler who took me across the Turkish border. From there, I found a post offering a discounted trip on a boat bound for Italy. Then I fought my way onto a train. It was so crowded, I had to climb through a window to get on. Wow. Yes, it was chaos. I couldn't even find an open seat, so I just laid down in the middle of the walkway. Well, my cousin was traveling, and he gave all of his money to a smuggler. But they could tell his passport was a fake. They sent him to jail, and I don't even know if he's alive. My family was killed by suicide bombers. I'm so sorry. When they died, I got all the money that we had, and I found some people living on the street who were looking to get out of the country, so I came with them. And we found a man named Uncle Anton who was in the middle of a raft. Uh, can you possibly lower the price? I only have 130000 If you can't find a way to pay me, then you're going to have to find someone else. 
Wait, would you be able to get me out of here? Uh, I'll help you for 108,000, deal? Can you lower to 130,000? If you don't have the money, then you'll know how to way out. Ooh, wait, wait, 108,000 is everything. Um, are you positive you'll be there and you'll get me there safely? That's all I need to know. You should trust me. I've done this so many times. Everyone that paid me is guaranteed to arrive safely and I promise I'll be at the port and there'll be a boat waiting. This is a guaranteed chance to leave the country. Sure, pay him or not. This is the only chance I have. Okay, I'll do it. Great, now give me the money. Meet me at the Tartus Court at 4 a.m. sharp. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs>